um, what are these tools called? These are the Wera Craft Form, Wera Craft Form screwdrivers. Okay. Wera uh, Craft Tool Form. review. Wera, Wera Craft Form screwdrivers. Tool review. Take one. Take. This is just raw. Let's see how, how well you do. I'll do you do think first. you're a one take wonder? I'm getting there. Welcome back to Everything House. So here we're going to go ahead and talk about these new uh, screwdrivers I purchased. I'm actually pretty excited about them. Um, they are the Wera Craft Form uh, screwdriver kit. It's a six piece kit. Okay, there you go. It comes with um, six pieces. What does that mean? It comes with two Phillips, different sizes, two flathead, different sizes, or regular, depending how you want to call them, and two square slash Robertson, depending where you are in the world, um, screwdrivers. Uh, one thing I noticed just pulling it right out of the box is this handle style. It kind of, it's, uh, it's a little different, right? It's, it's not you know, cylindrical or hexagonal, what have you. And I think the concept to this is when I, when I, re I researched them before I purchased them is that if you were to take your hand and squeeze the putty, okay, this is the shape it would take. So it's supposed to be like the most ergonomic, right? And just in the hand, I mean, yeah, it feels, feels pretty ergonomic. Uh, there's, lo there's lots of ridges to grab. So if you're, if you're screwing something with one hand, um, it's, it's very easy, very simple to go ahead and get some t uh, friction on there, right? Um, it's got a plastic handle, but then the green part is actually softer. Um, I don't know the kind of rubber, but I could definitely tell that it's, it grips. It grips really well. Um, I'm actually really excited to use them. I've been currently using a Weha set, which I heard was great and fantastic. And they've been good to me, but uh, there's a fatal flaw. Let me show you. So I got the other set. I got the smaller set in my actual tool bag. I'm going to do a tool bag review, a different video, but um, we'll do that later. So this is the Weha version that I've been, um, I've been using currently. And it's all great, fine and dandy, right? Um, however, got the strike cap on there. How many of us are really beating on our screwdrivers? Okay, you don't, realistically. You, we all have, at least if you do this type of work normally, we all have a dedicated screwdriver that we just beat on, right? It's our, it's our chisel, it's our, our whatnot. So I was doing some, uh, I was just doing a bathroom and I was putting in the electrical outlet and first thing in the morning, you know, eight o'clock, just get there and I'm screwing in uh, an electrical uh, screw on the outlet itself and bam hits me 120 volts <laughs> and it occurred to me why it's because they're not insulated right and you have that strike cap on top that goes all the way through so whatever you touch obviously the current will go straight through and it'll get you so then I thought to myself okay I don't have another screwdriver that I could do this with me right now in the bag I've incurred I've encountered this problem so I put on gloves and I finished the job and whatnot. That night I decided um, I'm changing them out because I don't need strike caps in my tool bag because I'm not, uh, I'm not banging on my screwdrivers. You shouldn't either. Anyway, so going down the rabbit hole, I started looking at Wura. Wura's uh, really good, uh, really good reviews, really good, it's, it's renowned. They're very popular, very hot right now. So I'm actually very excited about that because we don't have the strike cap here. They do have a set of insulated screwdrivers, meaning basically that the entire shaft is covered um, and only the, the tip is exposed metal, rather. Um, I'm not too worried about that uh, because I just don't touch this part when I'm screwing something in. It's very simple, at least electrical. What I'm really excited about actually is, I don't know if you could tell, maybe on the flathead you could tell, is if you look, see that etching on there? The laser etched, right? So they're designed to grab. And I was just messing around here um, in the shop a little bit with them, and they grab. Like they'll, they'll really grab something. Um, so I'm really, really stoked about that because sometimes you have slippage, whatnot, you know, cam out. But so far, this is my starter set. I'm actually really excited to get them in the bag and swap out those uh, Weehaws and see how it goes. Um, yeah, so I absolutely plan on doing a review on this later. Um, I generally, when I, when I get a new tool, I'll throw it in the bag, see how it goes for a few months, maybe a year, and then come back to it and see 
at least every six months, I like to go through my tool bag and say, okay, what am I using? What am I not using? What's been terrible? And I need to find a better solution or, or, or what is amazing. And I need to tell people or stock up on it. Um, yeah, so with this kit, I believe it was, it's about 40 bucks, something like that um, on Amazon. It, same day it arrived I, or at like 8 a.m. And boom, they were here by like one, which is pretty incredible testament to the world we live in. Anyway, so it comes, this, this kit right here came with the Phillips. Oh, one more thing. Life-changing, okay? So I got the Weeha, super happy about it. Awesome, right? They're in the tool bag. And then next thing you know, you have a couple of these stick in your bag, right? Yeah. Which one's the Phillips? I don't know. Which one's the flathead? I don't know. There's no, there's no label here, okay? And the, the where it does. So I'm actually really stoked about that too. It sounds like, oh, it's not a big deal, what have you. But believe me, it, it matters a lot when you gotta go through and pull every screwdriver to find out what's up. I tried marking these uh, with uh, a marker and it just wears off. So like, don't, don't, don't do it. Uh, if that's what you're going for. These um, have, so this is a Phillips one, okay? So obviously size one and it says right there one okay then you got your two eat clear as day your flatheads you got 4.0 and 6.5 okay which is the width then you have your robertson or square depending where you are in the world your one and twos right there easy clear as day you can see exactly what you need go up, grab it use it done so i'm really stoked about these so far just feeling them and playing with them um I'm really excited to, to get some uh, mileage on these things and see how they hold up. Alrighty, so that is my initial review. Um, oh, another thing. The boxing is kind of, eh, it's kind of like an afterthought to be honest. Um, the screwdriver is just loosely um, in this box right here, okay? But it does come with a stand, so if you're using it in a shop, that's cool. Um, a stand, you can go ahead and mount this on the wall, what have you. And you can go ahead and throw them in there like that, and they'll be nicely displayed for you. So, kind of like in the uh, uh, the picture they show you, All right? Just like that. I'm not gonna use them for that. They're going in my tool bag. Um, yeah. So I'm excited about it. If you have any questions or comments, whatever, put them in there, and I look forward to revisiting this. Cool. Have a good one. If you've purchased these, let us know what you think. Yes. If you purchase these, please let us know what you think. <laughs> also, they're magnet. You didn't mention the magnet. Um, yeah, so they're, they're magnet on there. The magnet's not that strong, to be honest with you, um, at least from what I've been able to tell so far. Um, maybe you can see here. There's a little key ring right here. There, I mean, it does want to grab it and touch it, but, I mean, I wouldn't count on it, to be honest. But then again, that's now. We'll see you later. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Watch the other videos. I appreciate it. And look for the review six months from now when I do this again. Uh, I got another view, video coming up where I'm going to go through my whole tool bag and go through item by item. All right. Please like and subscribe. Like, please like and subscribe. Ciao.